Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Tatiana and today I'm here to share with you another Amazon FBA success story. Monica started her business a few years ago after she had her first child, um, but she wasn't spending much time in her business. She kind of dabbled with it. Um, it wasn't until 2019 that she kind of decided to take another look at her business and to focus more time and attention into her business, seeing the opportunity that we have with Amazon. And so in doing that, she earned half a million dollars in revenue in 2019 alone. So a lot of work went into that, um, but she was at the end extremely successful and continues to be successful. And so Monica had emailed me um, just uh, nicely to, to thank myself and Steph and my fiance for the inspiration over the years. Uh, but after hearing her story, I had asked her if she would be willing to share a little bit of her story here on YouTube so that she can also be an inspiration for all of you. So Monica, thank you so much for taking the time to be here today. Thank you, Tatiana. You're so sweet. <laughs> so Monica, maybe we can get started first with um, just, you know, so you started your business a number of years ago when you had your child. Can you share a little bit about that? How did you discover selling on Amazon and why at that time did you not kind of, um, you know, did you not spend more time in your business? Yeah, so um, I first started my business in 2016. Uh, 2016 was the year that my first son was born. It was totally transformational for me. Um, I really wanted to stay home with him and, and um, everything that was, I had a, well, actually I had a friend and he was the one that started talking to me about this opportunity of working um, on Amazon and building a brand. And it was just so attractive to me to be able to work from home and to do something from home and being able to spend time with my child. Right. Um, that was the only thing that I was thinking on about um, during that time. Did your friend have already, he built an Amazon business or he was starting to build one? He was starting. So mm -hmm. actually we, we kind of started at the same time. Um, although he's put a lot of more time into it and now he's a bigger seller than I am. Mm -hmm. And I'm super proud of him. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I, I started really, really slow. Um, as I said, I had a baby. Um, at that time, my husband and I, we lived in Southern California and we are both originally from Spain. Um, so we didn't have any friends. Well, we had a lot of friends, but we didn't have family there. So right. uh, my husband and I decided that I would stay home with the baby. Um, so a couple of um, afternoons um, a week, I used to go to this coffee shop and just take my laptop there. I love that place. Everybody was just working on their computers, um, drinking coffee. So I used to enjoy just going there and, you know, watch random videos on YouTube about, you know, how to start your Amazon business and, you know, what, what steps to make. And, mm -hmm. and I really started really, really slow because I didn't spend a lot of time um, on it in the beginning, mm -hmm. but I really enjoyed that process of just like getting to know, you know, how to navigate uh, the Amazon, the, um, Amazon Seller Central account, how to find products, how to contact suppliers, mm -hmm. like how to write the listing. Like I was getting bits and pieces, bits and bits, you know, from yeah. here and there. So, you so, were, so all of what you were learning, you were learning it from YouTube videos. Yes, basically. That's why I was so slow. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Okay. okay. So then you started to learn about um, selling on Amazon, but you were obviously busy because you had a, a newborn baby to look after and so you kind of were how, how much time were you spending in your business did you launch a product at that time or were you still just learning about selling on Amazon so I was actually learning about selling on Amazon I would say for like for like the first year because I didn't launch my first product until mid 2017 hmm. um, for my first product I did have a lot of hassle and because when I knew what product I wanted to launch um, and it was time to contact with uh, suppliers and manufacturers. I just had a hard time. I didn't really know how to contact them, uh, you know, over in China. Um, I received a lot of samples that I just did not like. So it just, it was in the beginning, it, it took some time um, until I finally found a manufacturer that I really liked that funny enough, it was in the United States. It wasn't in China. Hmm. Uh, nowadays, all of my suppliers are in China, but um, for my first product, it was in the, in the U.S. So um, yeah, I didn't launch it until mid-2017. 
Okay. And then I got pregnant with my daughter. <laughs> okay. And then what happened? Then did you kind of push the business aside for a little while while you focused more on uh, parenting or were you still, were you still working on that product? So I was still working on the product and I still, I, I was still involved with all this Amazon um, world. It, I really was inspired by the possibilities and by the lifestyle that you could get. And, and, and I never quit learning about it. Um, even though, as I said, I just, you know, I just spent very little, little time. But um, when we got pregnant with our daughter, we decided that we wanted to come back to Spain and be closer to family. So during that time that we were doing the, you know, the moving and the transition and all of that, I did leave the business a little bit more to the side. So then that first product that you launched, uh, what was, how, how did that go? Was it a successful launch? Did you have much success with that product? And do you still sell that product today? I do still sell the product today. Um, I didn't do a formal lunch per se. I just put it out there, wrote the listing, um, searched for the keywords and did the, P did the PPC campaign. And it went really well. I mean, it wasn't, um, you know, I, I wasn't selling a lot. But for me, I was super happy because it was, it was my education. It was like my university on Amazon. I was just learning from it so much mm -hmm. that, um, and, and I invested in this first product. I invested very little money like um, you know it was a very simple product very easy to make it was very cheap so mm -hmm. I didn't I, I really didn't didn't mind I didn't have much to lose mm -hmm. you know with, okay. with that and then and then what happened last year when you just decided to sp st uh, spend a lot more time in your business and and your business really scaled within that within that year you know making half a million dollars in revenue that's quite significant so what happened at that time um, to allow for that growth yeah so um, so during 2018 it was just quite you know it was a, a quite a stressful year for us Mm -hmm. just because you know having the two babies and moving from the united states to spain and all of that but then my daughter she was born in august and i kept searching for new ideas and new products and a couple of when my daughter she was a couple of months i just you know one day i was just searching for her products and i found this niche that i and you know the the light just turned on and it was like okay this is something that i could totally do i could I, I know exactly how to improve it, how to improve the product. I know exactly, like I, like all the, I, all, all of the, um, I just saw it. I saw it really clear. Mm -hmm. um, so I that, decided that to see action. That was like, I know this is it. Like, I know I can do well with this product. I've, I've heard many people say that who have very successful businesses where they kind of saw a product and they had this gut reaction where it's like, I know I could sell that. I know I could improve that. It was the same thing for me when I found my waist trainer product because it wasn't a product that was like very obviously a good product to sell on Amazon. There was a lot of faults um, to it and a lot of reasons why I sh should probably not sell it. But I just kind of had that gut reaction where it's like, I know I could make this product a success. I had that same, that same feeling. And uh, on one hand, I, had, I was a little bit afraid, you know, you know like saying, okay, yeah. like, you know, should I just jump into it and, and, and just do everything that I have in my mind to do? And, but then, then I was so happy that, that I did it mm -hmm. because obviously it went out really well. That's great. So how many products um, are you selling on Amazon? Are you focused on maybe one or two or are you selling multiple products? Um, and if so, have right. you built a brand uh, on Amazon or are you just selling multiple products? So right now I, I'm selling 10 different products. I have wow. 10 different SKUs. Um, from those 10 SKUs, two of them are from my first brand that I still sell. And eight are from the newer brand, the second brand that I launched um, last year. Okay, great. And then um, of those like 10 products, did you launch a, a large quantity of those last year when you started to really focus more time into your business? Yeah, so all of the eight products from that brand were launched last year. And that's something that I, I find really helpful. Like um, now I'm going to launch another four. And I think that's key, you know, to constantly be, be launching products for, for your brand. Um, 
I find that that's significantly has been a, 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 a major aspect of my success. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And so, uh, so you launch multiple products at the same time. Um, or no, you don't. What's your process? Yes. Well, now this is the first time that I'm going to be launching four products at the same time. We're actually first one and then three of them at the same time is the first time. But um, during the last year, I was doing it basically one by one. Okay. So I and- did my first launch. It went well. And then when I order, um, when I did the second order for that first product, I also did an order for a new product and so on. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, that makes sense. And so the majority um, of your products, so you have uh, one brand and then the other products, you're just kind of launching them on Amazon. They're hot selling products that are doing well, and you're not necessarily building a brand around those products. Actually, I am. I am building a brand. So all of the, yeah, all of the, all of the products are related to that brand. Okay. Um, oh, so they're all within yeah. that one category, within that niche. Okay, that makes yes. a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, that makes a lot of sense because oftentimes, uh, you know, sometimes there's like two different ways you can go about it, where you can just go and you can look for hot selling products to sell on Amazon um, that aren't necessarily within one niche, within one brand, um, but they have great. Um, they look great and you know that they will be successful or you could say, Hey, I'm going to decide on my niche, figure out my brand. And then I'm just going to sell products within that category, which I think makes more sense because then you don't have to, you know, you just build one brand with multiple products. It's less, less work involved uh, than, than having to go and kind of build multiple mini brands for each product. So I think that's, that definitely makes more sense. So um, do you have any kind of tips for someone who may be watching that has maybe just started their Amazon business, is just getting started? Uh, Any tips, anything that you found really valuable when you were first um, building your business that uh, really helped you kind of uh, scale or helped you just build the foundation that you needed to get to this point? Yeah, so um, because of what I did and because... I just started um, my journey on Amazon, getting information from everywhere online and different videos and so on. I will totally recommend going through a course. Um, if, if it, like if it was me going back, I would totally do it. I, I know that you guys are also familiar with the ASM yeah, um, course. And I, I know a lot of people um, in this world that have gone through that course and are super happy because they, you know, they save time and energy and, and money. And if it was me going back and, you know, starting to, to get to know this world, I would totally go yeah. through to do a course like that. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, guys, for whoever's watching, this isn't scripted because now someone's going to wonder, oh, Tatiana always recommends the ASM course, um, which I do. I'm an, I'm an affiliate and I always recommend taking that course. Um, and the reason why is because like what you shared, like you can be successful and you can watch YouTube videos and you can learn um, as much as you want from free information. It can absolutely work for you, but it's going to take more time. Likely it's going to likely take more time because you're getting pieces from everywhere instead of getting something that kind of gives you all the information you need in one nicely packaged course. So yeah. I definitely understand that. Um, do you have any other kinds of recommendations for our audience, um, for those who are starting to build their business or any, any, did you have any challenges, um, any big challenges that, uh, kind of really set you back in your business or something that you really learned from? So we usually have a lot of challenges and a lot of things that we need to improve and learn and, you know, problems that we have to solve. I just feel that, you know, being also in, in connection with people that are within the same world and they're, they're also Amazon sellers or, you know, I think that's also very valuable and very important because at least for me, I didn't have anybody around me mm-hmm. that knew what I was doing or understood what I was doing or, you know, there were, we were totally in different mindsets. Um, so I quite, I, I felt lonely at times, mm-hmm. um, you know, yeah, like I felt isolating. Yeah. yeah. Like whenever you have a problem or you have a doubt or you have, you know, something like, you know, who, who do I go to or who do I ask? So having at least somebody, you know, that, that is also willing to, you know, learn or to, you know, that's also in, in this um, space, 
I think that's, that was a great, great help for me. Yeah. And so you, you found a community that you could kind of be a part of to help you, um, you know, or at least to kind of people that you can talk to about your business or did you go to any events or how did you kind of find a community that you can um, relate to? So when I started feeling like that isolate, isolated um, last year, I just typed, I, I went to Facebook and I just typed like Amazon um, not, um, events or something like that. So a few pages just appeared and I joined and I just wanted to get that feedback right. and um, I just started talking with um, Athena, you know, she was super nice and she offered help, like, you know, like, where are you in your business? What would you like to achieve? Like what? And, and then she recommended me because it, they just had started this Titan network mm -hmm. um, when I joined them. Mm -hmm. um, and from there, it's been, it's been amazing because that's, a, that's the community that I belong within the Amazon space. And, and that's where I go to, to find the, the, um, yeah the, yeah it's the important help. to just feel um like you can you, you know if, like you said if you have a question you can talk to someone if you have if you need any help there's someone who's there for you and um so definitely finding a community whether it's through some facebook groups that you can join and you can chat with people there or something um more kind of exclusive and more how should i say more you know, a mastermind type of environment like Titan Network, that's also a great option um, for, for people who are really looking for that kind of support. Yeah. So, and there are lots of meetups too, that, you know, people can go and, 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 you know, various cities around the U.S. especially and organize for free and you just go there and, and know people within your area, where, wherever you live. I think that's also really powerful. Absolutely. Yes, that's so true. I think starting an, an online business can be really scary um, because it is a, a leap of faith that, you know, you're deciding that, hey, I'm going to try this and you do have to invest money into it. It's not a business that you can start for free. Um, so there is that risk of, you know, well, I don't know if I should try this because I could lose money. Um, what would you what would you say to people who are hesitating um, to start their business, but also see the opportunities that Amazon is providing to all of us to, to sell on their platform and to potentially, you know, become an entrepreneur and own a business that does like yours, you know, half a million dollars in sales in a year. That's really impressive. And that's an opportunity that Amazon's giving us. I think that's a really deep uh, question to, to answer. My life has changed just so much, so drastically. A few years ago, I wasn't even thinking that I was an entrepreneur. Like I didn't have the mindset ready and I was not thinking and I didn't see the options and the possibilities and the opportunities that I see right now. So I do understand that each, you know, everyone is in different stages in their life. Uh, being an entrepreneur and having an online business, it's not for everyone. That's also uh, something to say because you do need to, um, have certain like you need to be consistent you know you need to do that what you said just it's a leap of faith mm -hmm. and just believe that you know believe in yourself mm -hmm. um you need to be committed committed to the, your business committed to yourself to improving constantly um it's just a lot that goes with it mm -hmm. um and yeah. it's a journey it's a journey that, that it in my opinion it doesn't have like a goal or it doesn't have an end it's like once, because that's, at least that's how I feel. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm in this business right now. I just feel so empowered. And I feel that I have so much um, opportunity around me and I feel so blessed. And I feel it, it's like, I'm never going to look back. I'm never, ever going to look back. I don't want to look back. And it's like, I always see room, room for, for improvement for everything, for my business, for myself. For me, it's been, it's been life-changing. It's really been transformational. And thanks to Amazon, a lot, of, a lot of us and a lot of families are just changing and transforming their, life, their lives to a much more positive way. And not, not only financially, because if you are thinking of starting your online business and just starting, you know, start to get paid right up, up front from the be very beginning that's not going to happen like my first product was launched as i said before in 2017 and although all my pro you know all my progress within th these these months i didn't really take any money out until 
last month uh, because I've been just like reinvesting, reinvesting, reinvesting. And that's my, that's my priority right now is just to make sure that my system, you know, gets strong enough. And, you know, I'm, I'm super thankful that um, I can also allow myself, myself to do that. Not everybody has that, that same opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, but um, when we were in, in the United States, my husband and I, we lived in a beautiful place in Southern, Southern California, but we were in, in a one bedroom apartment. And I didn't mind at all. It was a small apartment, but we were happy because I was able to stay home with my son and I was able to, you know, start my business. And I just, you know, we weren't spending a lot of money. We weren't doing great things, just spending money on rent and food basically. But that was our choice, you know, because we knew that we weren't going to be like that forever. Mm -hmm. um, and now my husband is also selling on Amazon. So we're both in the same, in the same, like we both have different businesses. Mm -hmm. but we're both in the same place mentally, you know? Yeah, that's so awesome. It's that's great when you can, you both understand each other's business because you're, you're in a similar industry and you can talk with each other and you can share ideas and uh, have that support system. Because I'm sure your husband always supported uh, your business, your, your business, but now he really understands it because he has also his own Amazon business. Yeah. That's really exciting. Yeah, that's really great. And how has it been um, to, to be working in this business uh, while having two young children? Well, it's been amazing. Uh, I think it's really, really positive. Um, it's been really tiring, I'm not going to lie. Um, really, really tiring, but I get to choose my hours, first of all. I work from wherever I want and the hours that I want, uh, which translates to working late you know late hours at night some at times and especially last year that my daughter was smaller and when she, you know when she was a newborn like I was just working whenever she was sleeping basically and then my other my my, my bit older son was only three years old so I also needed to be with him but um so I was tired but I felt happy that it was my choice first of all, to, to stay up at night and work on my business and that, that I had the opportunity to just spend the time with them and be with them and not having to just go away and, and you know, be in, a, in an office from nine to five. Uh, it's just a, a lot of more benefits than, than, than regrets. I don't have any regrets, really. Mm -hmm. the, only, the only regret or not, not regret, but the only thing is that I don't stop. Like I, I never stop working. <laughs> right. My mind, my mind is always on the go. It's the curse and of the entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I don't know how that feeling of just like clocking out on a Friday and yeah. not think of anything until Monday. Like, I don't know what that is anymore, but yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't miss it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is one thing that, you know, when you own your own business, it's like all of a sudden, you know, you have 100% responsibility over everything. And so your mind is always racing and thinking of ideas or thinking of things that could be improved. And it's like, you know, it's the weekend and you want to take time off, but your mind is always there. And so that's, that takes, you know, I, for me, it's taken a long time to figure out how to kind of, um, separate the two in some ways and some people don't believe in that i know tony robbins he's a big um, believer in um, work life integration and uh, for myself though i believe um, that there has to be some limits and so i've set some boundaries with my business because otherwise I, I will you know i'll spend all day every day working on my business so it's taking me some time to figure out what works for me and you know, what do I want and how do I want my days to look, but it's a blessing to be able to have that choice and to be able to design exactly. your day and design your schedule. Yes, exactly. Totally agree. So Monica, before we wrap up here, do you have any, any last, um, anything that you would like to share any last words to, to pass on with our audience? Um, any, any final thoughts that you'd like to share? In regards to the Amazon world, if this is something that um, you're thinking about and, you know, you've, there's just a lot of successful stories out there and they're real. Like now I'm getting to know real people with real lives and real success. It's something that, that it's possible. It really takes, you know, effort and time. It's not something that happens from one day to another, just because, you know, you need to be informed and educated and, you know, how you need to know how to do the things, the right things and also learn from the mistakes, but it's definitely something that it's worth trying. 
um, at least to try and if for whatever reason it doesn't work so you can always try to you know you can always go back to wherever you were at before right yes but, you know at least it's a good thing to try yeah better to try and and fail possibly than to have regrets because you never give yourself a chance that's how exactly. I exactly <laughs> right now it's just a wonderful beautiful time I think to get into the online space uh, because there's so there's only room for growth and this you know situation recently that's happening with the coronavirus has really shown us that you know being digital these days is so so important and so mm -hmm. big so I think that right now it's a perfect time also to start Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Trillions of dollars have moved from retail to online. And so um, there is no scarcity. Um, we have to all have abundance and there is more than enough opportunity for everyone. Just because you're successful or just because I'm successful does not mean that there's less success to be had by someone else. There is more than enough for everyone. And um, so very, very encouraging words. Thank you so much, Monica. I really appreciate you being here today and sharing some of your story with our audience. I'm sure that you're going to inspire some moms who may be watching this as well and who are thinking about you know, building their own business so that they can have more time to spend with their family or to just do what they want to do on their own terms. So thank you for once again, I appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who's been watching today. If you have questions, comment down below. Uh, anything that we talked about today will be linked in the description box. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.